Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata guys. And I'm talking about generation 2010 to 2016. It may be here for other generations as well. If you need to locate where the ABS and traction control module, also known as ABS and traction control computer is located, stay with us, we'll explain that today. Now, uh, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get our, our tool supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money guys. The engine is out of the vehicle, transmission, engine, drivetrain, cooling system, everything came out. With the engine being out, we can actually clearly show you okay, where that ABS and traction control pump is located. We have more than 200 videos on the 2.4 GDI engine and how to fix pretty much anything on it and on that Hyundai Sonata. We have even more videos, probably not to say a big word, but close to probably 700 videos will be made on this Hyundai Sonata. So if you have one, subscribe, okay, we'll save you quite a bit of money in the long run, guys. If you look at it when you open the hood, this is your engine bay, right here, that's where your engine and transmission will be. On the back side, okay, we have the, uh, uh, the brake fluid reservoir, brake pump, the booster, and if you follow the lines right here, this is the ABS brake pump, uh, this is the ABS valve body and on the back side of it right here guys that computer that's the abs and traction control computer okay right there now it is possible to replace it without disconnecting the brake lines okay uh, it's a little bit inconvenient place but uh, uh, it's not okay it's not so so easy you can see there is a connector here there will be two bolts on top okay and i believe on the bottom was one or two bolts as well but for that video guys we want to explain okay where it's okay it's right here so you get the idea okay you can see this okay it's right there hopefully guys okay uh, you will be able to fix that now if you have abs traction control light we have a special video that explains the top reasons why you may have abs and traction control light on sometimes it's not a bad computer module it's something super simple okay and in some cases okay it may take you just a few minutes to fix it so check out the video it will teach you all about that because uh, replacing that abs traction control module it's not an easy uh, it's not an easy thing because you can see it's not easy to access you need to remove the uh, air filter box and uh, access it through there but it's doable if you need to do it hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you if you need help with anything else let us know while we have the car so we can make that video if we have uh, if we have time hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time